Welcome to the MyTech Guru Basic Laser Printer Maintenance and Repair Training. We're going to show you how to perform basic printer maintenance on several common types of HP, Lexmark, and Xerox office printers. We'll also show you how to approach printer repair in an easy, step-by-step -step manner and help simplify the troubleshooting process. As a printer repair technician, your goal is to solve problems with a wide variety of printer types. Beyond the basic maintenance issues, you may feel a bit like a detective as you search the symptoms to find the cause of the and printer scrolling down until 50.x or 50.1 is shown in the left-hand column. Again, the explanation is shown in the center column and the recommended action to produce the solution is in the right-hand column. You can see here that there are also sections on image quality and image troubleshooting. These sections go into greater depth than most of the error code listings. Lift the left side of the transfer roller with the plastic tool or small screwdriver and pull the transfer roller away from and out of the right side bracket. After removing the transfer roller, you should remove any excess toner and paper dust by using a toner absorbent cloth. At the base of the printer, there's another feed separation roller, identical to the roller in the paper tray. It is removed from its shaft in the same way as the tray roller by pressing the small plastic locking clip away from the shaft and sliding it off the shaft. To install the roller, slide it back onto the shaft until you feel it snap in The rear place. door has flat sections on the shafts of both sides, which match flat grooves on the door hinges. Remove the rear door by opening it widely enough to match the flat section of the shafts to the flat section of the hinge grooves and pulling it out. Remove the paper exit assembly by removing two screws from the lower part of the assembly and releasing two clips near the top of the assembly. It's removed by unscrewing two thumb screws that are located on each side of the fuser, grasping the two beige handles, and then pulling it straight out. The fuser can then easily be inspected. The first thing listed is to remove the formatter assembly. In the left-hand pane, scroll up to and click on Formatter Assembly to display the instructions for removing the formatter. Next, we need to remove the printer's back cover. In the left-hand pane, scroll up to and click on Covers. Then scroll down a couple of pages to Back Cover and follow the list of directions for removing the printer's back cover.